Hello friends and welcome back. In this lecture we will talk about variable length argument lists in Java. Here is the outline. We are going to talk about how we can pass a variable number of arguments to a method. Let's get started. What do we mean by a variable length argument lists? Basically, a variable number of arguments can be passed to a method. Have a look at this example. In the main method, I'm printing the return value of a method that is called sum. Over here, I'm passing two arguments, and this method will return the sum of these two arguments. In this case, 8 will be printed. And after that, I'm passing 3 arguments. And after that, I'm passing 4. And after that, 5. And you can pass as much arguments as you want. So the method sum can take a variable number of arguments. So this is a variable length argument list in action. So let's see how we can implement a method that takes a variable number of arguments. Let's have a look at this example. So let's define the method sum. It is a public and a static method. And in this case, I want to return an integer, which will be the sum of the arguments. It is called sum, and have a look over here. To pass a variable number of arguments, first of all, we will specify the type of the arguments. In this case, I want integers, and after that, we will put three dots. This is called an ellipsis. And using these three dots, we specify that we want a variable number of arguments. And followed by that, we will put an identifier. In this case, I'm calling this parameter numbers. So what happens over here? Now we are able to pass a variable number of arguments to the method sum. And when we pass these arguments to the method, Java will create an array that is called numbers, and the arguments will be the elements of this array. So this identifier over here is the name of an array. And we can use it just like an array inside this method. So now all we need to do is to get the sum of the elements inside this array and return it. So to do this, I will do the following. First of all, I initialized a variable that is called sum to be equal to zero. And in this variable, I will store the sum of the elements of this array. After that, I'm iterating starting from the index zero as long as i is less than numbers.length. As you can see, I'm accessing the length attribute of this identifier just like an array, right? And each time, I'm incrementing i by one. So I'm iterating over all the elements of this array. Each time, I'm adding to the variable sum the element at index i, right? As you can see, we are using the brackets to access the element just like an array. So when this loop finishes executing, we will have the sum of the elements inside the variable sum. So we have the sum of our arguments. So finally, I'm going to return the value of this variable. So we return the sum of the arguments, right? Now let's talk more about the variable length argument lists. First of all, only one variable length parameter may be specified in a method. We cannot have more than one. And this parameter must be the last parameter. In other words, any other parameters must precede it. Also, we can pass an array or a variable number of arguments to a variable length parameter. In the previous examples, we passed a variable number of arguments. In a little bit, we will pass an array, right? And as we said, when we call a method with a variable number of arguments, Java creates an array and passes the arguments to this array, right? So let's see more examples. As we saw from a little bit, I'm printing the sum of these three arguments and we will see six printed. Now have a look over here. I'm creating an array of integers, which is called numbers, and I have the same values over here, one and seven and minus two. And after that, I'm printing the sum of this array. So as you can see, I'm passing an array as an argument for a variable length argument list. And also we will see six printed. And also we can pass an anonymous array as you can see over here. So I'm creating an array of integers with these values. And we'll see the same thing, six will be printed. So we can pass a variable length of arguments as you can see, and also we can pass an array. Now let's see more examples. Have a look over here. Suppose that we are defining a method that is called print and it has two parameters like this. This code will give us a problem because as we said, only one variable length parameter can be specified in a method. And over here we are specifying two. So this is a problem. Another example. Over here I'm passing two parameters to this method print and we will have a problem also. Because as we said, the variable length argument list must be the last parameter. So this example should be like this. The string parameter must be over here, and after that, we will put the variable length argument list. And of course, if we have more parameters, all these parameters must be put before the variable length argument list. So this is it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.